All right, what's up, everyone? John Spaulding here. I'm doing some office hours. Doing a review of my first mostly video. Uh, so I did this as part of Review Hunt. Sorry for the little bit of a delay. Did this for the review hunt, but this is also just kind of, I thought it was cool how you're able to interact on the app platform. And so I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video uh, for you guys to just see how it works. So you put in a YouTube link. Currently, DTube links don't work, but I think they're working on it. We'll see. And uh, what you do is then other people that are, are logged in on the Mosaic platform can give their replies. So let's check it out. for a new app called Mosaic. I believe that's how you do it. I tried to use it and I like how you guys use it. Um, but we're all gonna have different ways to say it, but it's M O S A E E K. I'll show it to you guys over here. And that is a way for making your uh, YouTube videos and Instagram videos interactive. So we're gonna pause there and you can see it went over, but when you're in the actual app, you can click on this. Mosaic. I believe that's how you say it. Mosaic. Mosaic. I like. Hi, John. Uh, Kari here from Mosaic. And yeah, as you heard it, I called it Mosaic. But there's actually a funny controversy. So it's not exactly set how it is being pronounced. Um, quick background story Rafa and me were both German, um, so non native English speakers. And the idea originates from this Greek puzzle, uh, a mosaic of many different pieces which are being put together and form one big picture. So just like many different video replies being on top of each other, forming like one big video experience. So we were 100% con um, convinced that it's always called mosaic. And then as many more Americans joined our community, people from other countries, um, we realized that it's probably even different. Some people said mosaic, some people said mosaic, and we're not 100% sure yet what is exactly the right pronunciation. And maybe we will never find that, and it will always be that part. But uh, let us know what's your favorite one. How do you call this Greek puzzle of many different pieces? This is the name. Mosaic. mosaic. Um, but course of the video comes back in me saying mosaic all right and so then you can just go to the next reply on your timeline about your video and then people can give you instant I totally dig it. I think that um, for Steam or for anything, once it's integrated and we're able to actually embed the links so that the videos can just hang out in the Steam post, currently that's not available. That would be cool. Um, but eventually that will be an option I know the boys are working on. I think that it's tr it's it's soup I love it because of the interactions now the thing that I have it's already been brought up by who was that oh, I'm gonna cough <coughs> uh oh careful What's Carrie Ellen okay so another mosaic or mo mosaiker mosaic mm, mosaic we're, we're playing with all that uh, he had brought up some concerns because that's what we need to do too we need to think think of the things that might we might run into problems and he did a basically a rundown on Philip DeFranco, who has a quadrillion uh, subscribers and audience members, and he has actually recently done a very similar thing to this. He's offered 000. to his iPhone users only the Where ability to respond with video replies um, on his website directly. Now, the numbers that we got, um, the, the guy, <laughs> I can't remember his name. Um, Maybe because he has a fake name. Okay, anyways, that's not important. It turned out that such a small percentage of those huge users uh, cared to do that. Now, I see this for really large users. Of course, people who like PewDiePie and, and Philip DeFranco, they have a lot to do. They're producing um, a full show every single day. So the ability for them to actually a lot of work. view and or reply to all of those videos, it's going to be a little more time consuming for them. However, everyone else that isn't the five names that you know of that are social influencers, 
everyone else I think can benefit from this because we have time to respond to each video individually we have time to build those relationships at this point and sure that might actually help us grow and get larger but it's actually gonna I think make it so that you were closer to our audience in that way um, but I do see the problem with somebody who already has a huge audience how that could be a really hard transition because of all the things they're already doing um, not impossible but I think that that's the reason why there was such there was little interaction with the um, example of Philip DeFranco um, people might think that he's not gonna watch the video anyway so why should I reply alternately with us here I'll reply to anybody because I think you're going to reply back to me. So I think that's how it's kind of work for any kind of platform. You just say you Not would reply Steam to anybody. Or here or Instagram if that's Is that your why jam you replied or to me? or whatever you want to do. I think I think it's good. Nice, Carrie. Video replies. And you can look at the replies. I'll pause it a second just for an aside. Uh, my favorite takeaway from what uh, Carrie Allen said was we have time. We have time to have bold conversations and and broad conversations or fine-tuned conversations um it really got, i think it really depends on the host and whoever's whoever is the person that's creating the video next look at the replies and then go back to the original video so to me it can extend conversations yes 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 um I believe that it, it can really, help. I don't understand why, and I still don't know the politics of who doesn't like who and, and all that. Yes, um, it's, it's um, interesting blockchain is because it, it, it's supposed to be all separated and grown up, but everybody's fucking childish, I feel. Not everybody, but you know, there's some people. <laughs> um, I feel that it, it really helps and it facilitates conversation because if I would have written all that, Somebody who um, just read it might have read it with the wrong tone and thought that I was talking bad about blockchain when in all reality I was just talking about, you know, of, of the only problem that I really do see with social media platforms in general, not just the, the, the Steemit or the Palnet, not any of because it's like the front ends or the dApps all have issues. I don't know which ones have issues, but I, I know they do. It's like nobody tells me anything. And sometimes I'll be working for both sides and I won't even know it. Like stupid shit like that. And I don't mean working for both sides, but I'm doing a project for this and doing a project for that. Why? Right. Because I'm decentralized and I don't give a fuck. But everybody's got this centralized mindset. It's like they're trying to centralize the decentralization. I don't get it, but I do. I do. Because it's just another CERN. But we don't have to get into that right now. Um, I think that it can facilitate the intentions and the inflections in our words and give us some more sincerity and obviously just more realism to what it is we're trying to communicate and um, not how it is that people think that we're saying it. Um, uh, hold on right there. Get instant reaction. Francesca Curtis, that was fantastic. First... Um, I really like the points that you made about being able to carry inflection and intention of words. Um, and rather than, like you said, if you type it out, anytime someone reads something online, you, you, you know that they're going to interpret it how they, how they r read it as opposed to the intention of the person communicating. So definitely get your point. And I like your use of colorful language, so feel free to reply to any other videos that I post. All right, I know this guy. And then the last one, uh, this is really more towards like... Hey, this is Sean S. Porter, John Nice Post. Uh, as far as Steam content, how can it help the Steam community? Uh, it will help better connect everyone because um, ideas will be able to be instantly reacted to. That's cool. Uh, it also has the potential, I think, of um, you know the comments becoming the content, right? All of a sudden, you can do contests based on comments i mean just start imagining the different possibilities as far as that goes and uh there's lots of different things that uh steam could uh be helped with right i mean there's so many different communities but there's always that one big community and that would kind of help everyone um better interact without having to leave posts that are getting uh upvoted and all that nonsense so i think that's one of the that's the initial i thought i had was uh you know it's gonna better connect everyone um, maybe it'll even allow uh, stories to be more living, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
you could do people could see the comments and then do another post right it becomes a conversation again conversation becomes the content so there you go boom that's sean s like porter getting everyone some ideas from you uh i've worked with sean as a live streamer for many years and uh he's super talented check out uh, his shows uh weird news plus that i also um stream with him and call us up if you want to do a steaming pile and ha f host a conversation on your uh dap presentation ideas and he also does an mma show every now and again when he goes live he's on official d live and he he also does broadcasting on vim thanks sean got two more app all right, so go ahead and... Uh, yes, yeah. I think that shorter content is always going to be easier because you'll want to reply back and forth and it makes it snappy. I, however, am verbose. And it's hard for me to grasp the brevity of any situation. I also find that any kind of, uh, and this is personal just for me, but any kind of the uh, commentary videos that you would normally see on YouTube and things like that, I... I r responded like eight times in one video because it was like 14 minutes long and it was going over stuff and I was being informed and I was being entertained. And then I had a comment about something Sorry, where guys. I wanted to say, yes, I agree with that. Or, oh my God, that's so crazy. I can't believe that. Do you know anything else about it? And so I found that even with the longer videos, as long as it w is it, it's engaging. So anything that's engaging, I'm going to want to comment on regardless of length. But yeah general rule the shorter ones are going to be a little bit easier on that um yeah what you cool and stuff. you use the app and we got one more if i can click right on the link oh it's sean s porter, porter again conversations using this app hey it's sean s porter again uh good content well instantly i start thinking of myself weird news clips um that are crazy and short and fun uh, would be for great sure. for good interactions, but that might be more of an interaction like, wow, or that's crazy, or maybe it leads to an anecdote someone can tell. Um, so it's not necessarily adding to a conversation, but more the reaction. Yeah. Whereas something like the steaming pile, if we set it up into little clips about um, reviews we're doing of different, or little interviews, then you could really get the conversation going. So I think those sort of things are helpful. Um, I agree that short content will do really good, but that might be just because it's always more popular, short content. I could see long form stuff, definitely having um, um, video responses, right? Mm -hmm. Like I've listened, I've been listening to a Joe Rogan podcast or watching it on YouTube every now and then and thought, oh damn, I could, you know, they're kind of wrong about that. I've, or, you know, you, so I could see it being a possibility, but I don't think it would lead to as or an organic of a conversation. Um, it would kind of just be more trolling, I think, in that aspect. But yeah. I think in that aspect. But yeah. All short, right. So I made this bigger. Fun video. Let's pause here a second. And we'll listen to the end of this. But we're going to pause here a second so you can see that embedded in Sean's reply all you have to do is hit the the record button and you can re re record your own reply from someone else's conversation to just a, a, a another person so let's check that out this is really neat I, I, I wasn't gonna go for 10 minutes but hey buddy, uh, what's up man you might be surprised though because I feel like what we are opening here at Mosaic is uh, everybody's different Everybody has a different trigger and everybody has something else to say. So the personality, the trigger in your video and what they have to say might be completely different. So I've seen reactions of people that surprised me so much. I was like, dude, there's literally not a point to react to that right now. Like what, what is the person going to say there? And it was like, holy shit, this was actually funny or cool or interesting. I learned something like so much. So. You'd be surprised. That's awesome. Then let's listen to the second one. Yeah, man. So here you basically referring to a Joe Rogan podcast and like moments where you want to chip in. Um, I want to just Excuse put out me. one example here. So 
Do you know that a lot of these reaction YouTubers basically always like download clips and dissect them into different pieces, like highlight reels, so to say, like boom, boom, and then they film themselves and react to it. It's basically what we're able, and this is mostly a long form content, like check out the Rizzo video and its reactions in Germany, R-E-Z-O, and then it triggered. Dude, this was like a long form 50 minutes video and it triggered like 100 to 150 reaction videos wow. of fake YouTubers. Um, so wow. when you see that and what it triggered, it's kind of making you making you rethink the potential and the possibilities that this has on long form content. But I do appreciate your comment, man, and I and I thank you for putting thoughts into that. I just feel like the moment you open a rabbit hole, you need to just wait and see what it kind of brings I'm out. I'm watching of it, them you over know? on the monitor. Like it's like a live Even human experiment that we're currently doing, if you wish. <laughs> All right, so that was a reply to Sean. Let's go app. Refresh it. Uh-oh. I'd have to go back, back. Oh, there's my block droids. <laughs> Alright, guys, we might have to just end there. Let's see if it comes back up. Might just take a minute. You always want your videos to have a nice, happy ending. Sometimes that just doesn't happen with technology. So. Alright, there's the uploaded version. No, that's for a different one. There's the uploaded version. Let's go back to the original one. The original video. Put it in there. Hello, here we go. All right. What's up, everybody? So there's the original. John version. Spaulding here. Oh, uh, man. There's more comments than uh, someone must have just commented. Uh, familiar with Steam? And are you familiar with blockchain technology? Hey, John. Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with the Steam blockchain uh, as well with several dApps uh, based on the Steam blockchain. Uh, and yeah, there's like use cases for almost everything. Uh, it's it's really crazy. My absolute favorite is DTube creating the videos, but there's so many others. Uh, just on my DTube channel from today, you will find like a review of Steam related dApps. Uh, just that you know. Good job, Ferdinand. Hey, so I will question. check that out, Ferdinand Hauptman. Next one is app. So check out the app. How can this app help improve conversations yeah man it is this simplicity of responding immediately on the go uh, in a specific part of the video so that's that, that's really unique um for sure maybe you haven't followed me on on, on youtube and uh, steam to. blockchain so far but uh, just some <clears throat> weeks ago i started a video by video respond season with uh, lckj and uh, we started that before I even knew about uh, Mosaic, but I, um, I really wanted to have this personal responding, video responding. And uh, I choose at the first place, I choose Elsie. So I contacted her up front and said, okay, Elsie, uh, I know you're the right person for that. Would you like to make a little collaboration with me? And would you like to do this personal responding and everyone can watch it? And uh, I mean, that's the beauty of the Steam blockchain and the beauty as well of uh, of, of DTube that most of the content creators who are on there uh, with with vlogs, daily vlogs whatsoever, they are like, they're so honest and uh, nobody is just showing off, you know. It is more about the personal connection in this community and it's such a tight and warm uh, community that it's so easy. It is so easy to have a, 
really personal conversation going on and uh, yeah now i think uh, mosaic is it is just making it easier to get this conversation in between uh, several uh, users going you know so um yeah i i really love it and uh, i think so do you uh, best greetings from barcelona buddy Thanks, Ferdinand. I'm checking your YouTube page out and I'm going to get back to your video. Good morning from Barcelona, DTube family. Oh. That's some good video Among right users there. of the Steam blockchain or of social media. What are you yapping about? So content will get the most interaction on this platform. Oh, here we go. So Ferdinand's got content? one more response. Of course, there's content uh, which is more controversial or which which has more opinions and uh, I'm pretty sure there will be much more interaction then because like for example oh, for uh, sure. political uh, discussions you know everyone even though they belong to uh, the, the the same party they they have still different opinions on that on that topic on that specific topic and i think there's a lot of engagement in in in, in those political yeah talks for example but beside that as well these personal interactions you know i mean at the end, it is like a video call, but uh, in comments. And uh, it is like, for me, I think like seeing personal vlogs, what they're doing right now, what they're up to, what they think about right now and asking for a response. I think that's for me as well, like good, good enough. And I would, I, I personally would more respond to a personal uh, a vlog or something than like a political situation uh, conversation for example okay um but yeah that's that's just my take on it uh, i'm super curious to to watch now all the other replies and uh, curious what they said so Me have too. a good weekend john ciao all right we're gonna watch this next one up oh, come on for now we'll get the most interaction we're gonna reload it again platform. and then i'll hit it so i wanted what to hit the one content? at least one more that was inside another conversation Getting the wait button. Maybe we'll go to another one of these. App. So check out the app. How can this app help? Sorry for the replay. I'm going to see if it... If we have to refresh again or what. All right. Well, you guys got a hint to see uh, what it's like. I'm going to go ahead and pause that. You guys got a hint to see what it was like. Thanks for tuning in. If you did watch it all the way to the end, uh, you're a trooper. I wasn't expecting to go 22 and a half minutes, uh, but I did. So uh, that's Mosaic. It's a cool uh, collaborative video and conversation layering platform. Uh, so definitely check it out. Uh, I'm going to look and see if I'm able to connect my uh, Instagram account and also have this same account so it recognizes that it's me the same time and i'm going to get this uploaded to dtube so i will talk to you guys later thank you everyone for commenting on my first video uh, i really appreciate it and you guys had a great conversation um so this is john spaulding's office hours i'm going to go in and do some individual replies uh within the app later today so, see ya.